yo what is up everybody welcome back to another video in today's video i wanted to do sort of like a discussion just sit down and talk to you guys about how my first semester of senior year actually went so i want to go through like a step-by-step -step monthly basis of kind of what i did um and how this whole like college application process went for me as well as just other fun things that i did in this semester of high school so starting off here in August, and I have um, some notes here on the side. I wrote down what I wanted to talk about uh, using Notion. So that's kind of what I've been occupying myself with this Christmas break, learning how to use Notion to have that like productive like mindset, I guess, or like help me plan out stuff because I've never really used uh, a journal or planner or anything throughout high school or like in any of my educational endeavors or anything in life in general. But um, I guess I'll just want to try it out. So that's what I'm kind of doing during this Christmas break. But in August, the college application process begins. Of course, Common App does open on August 1st um, each year. So this year's my college application process. And you also have to choose your senior year course load at my school. So this year I took AP Statistics, AP Biology, AP English Literature and Composition. I took Lang last year, AP Environmental Science, AP World History, Bio Lab Honors, um, which is kind of, it just goes hand in hand with AP Biology. So at my school, you have to take AP Biology as, as a class and the lab portion as a separate class. And they combine together to like make up that AP Biology exam. Um, PE, because of course I still want to have fun, play basketball with friends and stuff and football. And then robotics, um, because it's like my second year of doing robotics and I honestly just really enjoy it. And then in August as well, you have to ask for your letters of recommendation. So first day of school, y'all, I was already there asking for letters of recommendation um, from teachers that I believed uh, I had a good connection with and who could, I think, uh, represent me well in letters and um, who like really understood me on a personal level. And um, yeah, honestly, uh, I think I asked some really good teachers. I asked my junior year social studies and my junior year math teacher. Uh, my junior year math teacher is also my sophomore year math teacher. so. We were able to develop a really good connection over those two years and i think the letters of recommendation were pretty solid Alrighty, so now moving on to september so psat national merit um like cutoffs got released in september and louisiana's this year was 214 and i had a 213 so i got basically one question or one point off the the cutoff for semi-finalists so just national merit uh commended but i'm still really proud of myself for trying on that test um, I didn't study as much as I should have, but I definitely did put a little bit of work in. So I'm happy to have at least got it commended and got it um, some type of return from that. So still really proud of myself for that. And then September really is just working on uh, early early action applications and just schoolwork in general. Um, I guess like school really starts to, sorry for that Pokemon Go, just give me a notification. Um, call, uh, school like work starts to really settle in during September, it's no longer like, welcome to school or whatever. Like now you're actually starting to get homework and stuff, but um, it's it's all honestly pretty manageable. Um, not really too stressful or anything. And then October, man, the first decisions for EA schools were due. So that was uh, UNC Chapel Hill for me. Uh, UNC Chapel Hill honestly had a really early deadline. October 15th with stairs, I believe. They were my first deadline. Um, and then I also applied to my state school, which is LSU and that decision came out with a yes so honestly pretty cool uh to have gotten a response that fast because lsu does practice rolling admission so really nice to see a college decision come out with some good news Alrighty, and now moving on to november the rest of early application decisions are due so tulane georgia tech all those are now also due um as well as beginning crunch time for regular decision applications because now since you've gotten early action out the way now I had to begin just dialing in for all these regular decision applications. And I'm still working on a few, honestly, right now on Christmas break, finalizing my final drafts in order to submit those. So wish me the best of luck, guys. Honestly, I'm really passionate about all the schools I apply to. Um, I really do see myself as a fit uh, in each and every single one of them. So we're just gonna have to see how these decisions go. And um, honestly, I'm just really grateful that I was able to finish all this work. And um, honestly, uh, not have too much pressure on me. I mean, of course, there's pressure with college apps, but I feel like I handled it really well. Um, so I'm honestly just really proud of myself for that. December is all about midterm studying. Um, this is my last first semester of a year in high school. So of course, it also comes with Christmas parties. So 
while I was hanging out with friends and enjoying the holidays with them. I'm also studying for midterms and trying to do well in all of my courses as this is honestly one of the years where I'm taking a harder course load. I'm taking way more advanced placement classes than in other years. Um, I guess challenge myself and um, that comes with a lot more midterms uh, and much more difficult midterms. So a lot of studying for that. And then also some great news. Tulane's early, uh, early action came out December 20th. This is currently December 27th when I'm recording this video. And uh, we did get accepted, so I'm honestly really happy about that. I'm saving all my reactions for my college reaction video. Don't worry, I have it recorded, guys. But uh, I am going to get that video out eventually uh, once all these other decisions come in. So stay tuned for that. Maybe around early April, late March, we will see, honestly. Um, but yeah, honestly, the midterms did great, honestly. Uh, I was able to finish the semester with all A's. Super proud of myself for that. All the studying paid off. And um, of course, really grateful that God gave me the power to do well in all my courses this semester. And um, that's basically how my last first semester went of senior year. Um, so one more semester left, guys. Honestly, kind of nervous, but also really, really proud of all the work that I've done until now. And all these decisions are starting to come out soon over these next few months. All these uh, competitive schools will have their decisions coming out. So I guess we'll just have to stay tuned for that. And honestly, that's about all I have for this video, guys. Uh, I want to quickly say happy holidays to all of you guys who are watching my video this year. Honestly, I'm super grateful for all of you guys who have watched my videos. It's always been a really big goal of mine to become a like, content creator and sort of just grow a channel. And um, you guys are giving me the opportunity to do so. So I really appreciate you spending the time to watch my videos. And if you've made it this far, you really are awesome. And I'm super grateful for you. But um, I hope you guys have a had a really happy Christmas or holiday season. And then as we come into the New Year's, I wish nothing but the best of success. If any seniors are watching this video, I wish nothing but the best in your college application journey. And um, honestly, that's pretty much all I have to say for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want. I have a bunch of my socials linked in the description as well as the equipment I'm using if you're interested in checking that out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a great morning, day, night, wherever you are. And um, I will catch you guys back here in the next video. Peace out.